I played the game for 445 hours. I had fun playing the game. I purchased multiple Founders packs. I even purchased the Vanquishers pack because I was enjoying the game. One day I went to log in and I found that I was banned. And the only information that I had was a code of conduct violation. I submitted an appeal. After four days, I heard nothing back. I submitted another appeal. And I was informed that my bank, my account was commerce locked for refunding a Founders pack. And that ban would not be lifted. I checked my purchase history to confirm because I didn't remember refunding it. And I have no refunds for Lost Ark. I look at the forums and find that people are being banned because they purchased skins on the in-game auction house and that people later refunded their founders packs i was banned because someone else refunded an item after they sold it on the auction house because the skin i purchased and equipped is linked to an account that was banned ags is the worst gaming company i have ever worked with they were horrible at managing new world and now they are completely botching lost ark i will not be recommending any game that ags is involved in i, I will have to say guys i, I think this is a um <sighs> This is an Omega level L. Get Rex Gold Buyer. Well, the thing is, like, you shouldn't. Like, I don't really care. Like, remember whenever the servers mounts got duped and like people got mad about it? Like, I, I, like, I didn't care about that. I said, haha, that's funny, right? That they're that they're losing this thing that they thought made them special because they spent real money on it. But like, this is a person losing their account. It's very different than like having something devalued versus losing your account. Like, this is bullshit. Like, it's obviously fucking bullshit. So yeah, uh, now it's, yeah, it's, uh, this happened to my friend. He got banned because someone else was scamming. It could be fake. I feel like there's a lot of other people that have said the same thing though. Like, would you say that all of them are fake? Like they've all collectively decided to invent the same fake story? I, I don't know. It just seems, it seems unlikely to me. People are selling servers mounts and refunds it. Yeah, I think that's what happens too. Soviet Hammer got banned also. That's why he's no longer streaming Lost Ark. Yeah, but like, I, I don't really believe that entirely. Didn't Sony and Soviet fuck? Because like, the Soviet Hammer is Sony's brother, right? Didn't they account share to get him a uh, fucking uh, a high warlord? I, I wouldn't necessarily believe them because they've cheated before in the game. So like, I mean, I, I like Sony. Uh, Sony's great. Uh, he's a great guy. But like, I mean, they did do some other clown shit in the past. So it makes me a little bit less likely to believe that it was completely unwarranted. However, there is a good chance that they could have also just gotten fucked as well. So here's what I'm saying. This is really bad. Now, I don't ever worry about this personally because I know if I ever get banned, I will just, you know, contact somebody and they'll unban me because I didn't do something bad. However, for an average person that doesn't have like a contact, that can't talk to somebody, that doesn't know people, you're fucked. You're just fucked. And, and like, I don't know how anybody could say this is okay. I think this is awful, man. It's super disappointing to see something like this happen. And it's really sad to see so many people like thinking that, uh, you know, it's like not that big of a deal. Uh, I really think that it is a big deal. This is an awful. Uh, AGS has worst customer support in the industry. I have heard universally bad things about their customer support. I will be honest, guys. I really have. It's a huge fucking issue. What the fuck? Yeah, I think so too. Because here's the thing. How do I know that somebody isn't going to try to get a skin that they ref uh, like trade me a skin and then refund the skin to hopefully get my account banned? Because I guarantee you, would somebody spend $20 to fuck me over? Yeah. Yeah, I think that would I think that would be uh, that would be the case. You accept goal, it's the same thing. Oh, I I I'm not oh. They're not going to ban They're not going to ban me, though. Like, the thing is, I'm not going to get banned for accepting gold in the mail. Like, let's be honest. It's not going to happen. Yeah, it, it's just it's just not going to happen. And if it does, I hope it does. That'll be great content. Can you imagine if I got banned? Oh, my God. Uh, like, the, the, the views on those videos would be insane. Wow, I hope they ban me. Please, Amazon, ban me. That'll be so good for my channel. Yeah, God, that'll be such good content. Yeah, free marketing. Please. Yeah, Swifty ban video. If they ban me, I will legitimately do a video just like Swifty, okay? Yeah, that's it. And honestly, shit with the amount of free stuff you get. Oh, should get banned? Yeah, true. I know there's a lot of people that are jealous about the amount of free stuff that I get. I just want to let you guys know that you're going to be very unhappy today. You're going to be very unhappy today. Red Bull Wings, thanks for the five. Get the community subs. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Asman got a second server's mount, for second founder pack, AGS provided. You should be fine. Yeah, for sure. It triggers me so hard. We invest time and money into the game. Can be over in a second. Not oversight from AGS. Other unwillingness to do a better job. Scary as shit. Yeah. Um, I, I hope that they sort this out as fast as they possibly can. Because we've had these same problems happen in New World too, Where accounts got banned randomly. And people weren't able to get a response from AGS. 
Now, I think that this is really what probably happened is that and and this is not me I, I want to say like by explaining something I am not I, I am not saying that it's okay I'm just simply explaining how I believe that it happened what I think probably happened is that AGS is understaffed I think that they are understaffed underprepared and potentially also mismanaged and all of those things come together to deliver a terrible customer service experience. That's probably what happens. And how do they solve the problem with having 100,000 tickets and only 1,000 people to read them? The way that I think they solve it is they create algorithms that don't basically do any checks. These are just like automatic ban systems. So like, if X, then Y. If X, then Y. If one, then two. And that's what I think happens, is that they have these algorithms that make decisions for the for the people because they're using them because they can't afford, or they can't afford, but they're not affording, to hire enough people to accurately uh, assess everybody's problem. It's the same reason why Blizzard has, um, has mass report problems too, is that Blizzard doesn't want to pay, uh, they, they don't want to pay, well, they don't want to pay anybody, um, but like they especially don't want to pay customer service people. So what do they do? Well, they just, uh, they just create the silencing system. So if enough people report you, your account just gets silenced and that's it. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's all there is to it. That's it. And so a lot of companies do this now because it simply saves money. And the reason why companies do it, and this is just the God's honest truth, is because it saves more money and it's worth it even though they take a PR hit. Because it saves them so much money and so much personnel that they can take the PR hit from it because it's worth it for how much money they save. That's all there is to it. It's a simple equation. Games are products though, they can't afford it in the long term, it's short term thinking. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, companies hate hiring unskilled labor. Well, I think anybody would, right? It, it, it's what makes sense, absolutely. And so, yeah, there are some people I hate that equation. It doesn't matter. <laughs> they don't care. That's it. So, same with some brands in Russia. Well, it, it's very short-term thinking. It's not, though. Like, doesn't Steam have terrible customer service, too? Like, my, my understanding is, like, people have had problems with Steam before, and they've had terrible customer service. Yes. No, what the fuck? Yes. No, not really. Steam is good. It's better now. Has it improved? Not anymore. Dude, I remember, like, two or three years ago, like, especially, like, five years ago, Steam customer service was like, you're on your own, man. Like, if it's gotten better, so it's gotten better now recently? Uh, I haven't had a problem with Steam in, like, probably ten years, so I haven't really had an issue. Steam is so much better. Well, that's good. Um, e either way, what I'm saying is that there are a lot of companies that have always had terrible customer service, and they provide a product that people consider invaluable for one reason or another, and it allows them to continue having bad service. So, yes, I do think that Amazon should solve this immediately. Like, this is a huge problem, and it puts a lot of people in harm's way. It makes people not want to uh, actually use the in-game shop, which directly causes them to lose money. It causes people to not want to play the game because they're worried they're going to lose their account due to a mistake. Uh, it causes so many problems in the game that I don't think there's any real positive to this at all. This just simply hurts the game, and they have to, uh, they, they have to deal with this because... The odds are, here's one thing with this you have to keep in mind, is that now that people know that it can happen, they will do it more. Because once people figure out what the programming is and how it behaves, they will be able to use it to their advantage. This is very worrying, and this is something that I hope that they can solve as soon as possible. The real Amazon customer service is way more efficient than AGS. I just think they're new to the game industry and they haven't found the right manpower for it. I think so too. I, I really do. I think that the honest truth is that AGS was not ready for the new world success and the new world boom. And it's not that new world, the reason why they weren't ready for it is why it went downhill. They weren't ready for it because they thought that they were going to advertise this game was going to be huge. And then it just went downhill because of uh, a bad service. I think that's a big reason. Like the game had problems, but also the service was problematic too. Like people would get banned all the time for no reason. And Lost Ark, obviously is a much better base game. However, uh, it's the same general problem. Yeah, it's a one week success. Yeah, I lost 2 million silver randomly. I had to submit a ticket, haven't heard back, LMAO. Yeah, I, I said before, like Amazon's completely in over their head with Lost Ark. 
I don't think they expected even a fraction of the success that the game has. And they are working probably uh, 15 hour days, 12 hour days to try to do it. And it's like they should have done better market research and they should have had a better idea of how many people were going to play the game. But they just didn't do that. And that's what happens whenever you don't have things planned. That's just that's the way it goes. No, Josh Strife react clip. Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, I'll look at that in a few minutes, okay? I was also banned for refunding a founder's pack. I don't know why. I appealed several times and eventually said they cut communicating with me entirely. Game's absolute trash, so I didn't really care, but yeah. Well, I think that if you buy something, if you buy something and then you redeem, like this is, like they have to ban people for redeeming founder's packs. Like they, they have to, or sorry, refunding founder's pack. Like they have to do that. I, I can't see that being a good, a good solution anyway, right? I mean, like, yeah, like, because here's really what happens, right? Why? Here's why. Because if you buy a founder's pack and then you put the item into the economy and then you sell the item and then you refund it, how can you resolve that without having a punishment for the person who refunded it? Like, who gets punished here? Because, like, so the entire player base gets punished if you allow the item to stay in the game because that means that that item has a comparative less value because there's more of it in the game. Um, then on top of that, if you punish the person who bought it, this person was buying it under a completely fair pretense, so that person shouldn't get banned at all. Like, you, you have to ban the person who bought it and refunded it. And guess what? Blizzard does the same thing. If you buy microtransactions like WoW tokens or whatever and you start refunding them, they will ban your account. Yeah, War, Warframe does that, same with Riot. Yes, all of these other game companies do this. And, and this is what I'm saying, it's illegal to disable refund. They're not disabling refund. They're saying if you refund, you get banned. Yeah, P PlayStation, yeah, Xbox do it. A and this is what I'm saying, right? Is that people, AGS does a lot of things wrong, but I think that AGS and especially New World gets so much hate that is, in my opinion, not fair. Like, why are people shitting on, on AGS for this system whenever every single other game developer has this system and logically it is the only way you can solve the problem? They know exactly what they're doing and they got fucked. Good, yes. And that's what I think. I think that a lot of the people here, what they're doing, not here in chat, but like a lot of people, they're talking about it. Like, oh, I got banned for this. A lot of them bought the founder's pack and they refunded it on purpose to do this on purpose. Um, you collect the item and refund it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because big company equals bad. Yeah, I think that's that happens a lot. Seems like most of the bans are deserved. I've said this even with Twitch. I think that Twitch makes good decisions with bans 19 out of 20 times. Probably 49 out of 50 times. Most of the time, Twitch makes good decisions with bans. There are certain high-profile cases that Twitch does make mistakes with. But the overall majority of them are completely fine. There are people that get banned every single day and you never hear about it because it's not a story. Because, oh, wow, this person showed a dick on his stream or he, uh, you know, called somebody the N-word on his stream and he got banned. It's like, okay, well, that's the, that, those are the rules, right? So that's the way I see it. They don't need bans. Fucking Twitch started to ID register Korea and Asia in general. I don't know about that. I'd be coolest. They think refunding an in-game transaction won't get them banned. Well, the reason why they, they say that is because AGS equals bad. That's why. 49 out of 50 is a terrible ratio. 50 out of 50 is a good ratio. Anything below that is terrible. And you know what else it is? It's also realistic. Like, I, I, I know that. I agree with you. I think that's terrible too. But it's just realistic. Yeah, 98% is... It, it, like, yeah, if you get banned, would you sue Twitch or do you take the hit? Uh, it depends. I, I don't know. Shut the fuck up, Asmon. I also, you're talking shit right now. People really think I'm wrong about this? It's crazy to see so many people pushing back on me on this. What about Gross Score's ban? Uh, really? You're going to use Gross Score as an example of, a, of, a, of an unfair ban? Gross Score, who, who like, didn't, didn't he share, like, revenge porn of his girlfriend who was underage? I, 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 like, come on, man. Like, I, I even thought Gross Score was a funny guy. He, he had a lot of funny clips, even though he talks shit about me sometimes. I met Gross Score at TwitchCon. The first thing he asked, where's Pink Sparkles? Yeah, I, I, and like, I don't have anything personally against him, you know, but like, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> so look, that's all you need to know. Yeah, guys, listen, a lot of people, what about King Booger? I don't remember, like, didn't King Congor get banned for like flirting or doing something weird with like a 15 year old girl on stream? It was a, like, it was during, like, an IRL stream or something like that. Like, this was like fucking eight years ago, so I don't really remember. It was a long, long time ago.
He leaked personal information on stream. Yeah, that could be it too. Uh, careful spreading rumors. Well, this is just what I remember hearing about. Uh, what about Giant Waffle that they reinstated after he creeped on girls? Well, it wasn't... It, like, you don't... Like, how do people not... Am I being trolled right now? I've got to be getting trolled right now. I'm getting... I'm getting trolled right now. I, I, I'm not even... I'm not... Yeah, I... I, I yes, I'm getting trolled 100%. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting baited. I think so, too. And uh, always being trolled. Yes, exactly. Uh, I, I will say this. I want to say it again. And I'm going to make it perfectly clear. Just so everybody can understand. And people can maul out about it uh, accurately and efficiently. I think that Twitch usually makes the right decision with bans. Sometimes they don't. But I think in the overwhelming majority of cases, Twitch does make the right decision on bans. And a lot of times, people that don't like that are just unhappy with the content creator personally. And because of that, they want to see the ban uh, worse or better, depending on if they like them or not. That's what I think. Uh, about a month ago, I posted a photo of this cosplay. Here are a few more. Jana Potts. Yeah. I want to say if there are any... Um, if there are any booba cosplays, these are totally okay. These are totally, totally fine. I'm totally all right with them. Uh, it's completely okay, I guess. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, th this is great. There you go. That's actually pretty good. Like, I I'm not really much of a cosplay enjoyer uh, in terms of the quality of the outfits, but I would say this is pretty good uh, for sure. Nintendo under pressure is Square Enix uploads 50, uh, 500,000 tracks. Um, turn roast uh, Nintendo. Internet roast Nintendo. Listen, Nintendo, this is like a big problem that I think Nintendo has had for probably 10 years now, is that Nintendo has been... It, it's so weird to me that Nintendo is in this position because Nintendo has always been the innovator. Nintendo has always been on the cutting edge. They were on the cutting edge back with the Super Nintendo, with the Nintendo 64. You guys might not remember this, but the Nintendo 64, Nintendo skipped a 32-bit system. There is no 32-bit Nintendo system, because back then you had Sega Saturn, which was 32-bit. Nintendo said, fuck that, we're going all the way to 64-bit. And then after that, they said, you know what? You thought that was good? Look at the GameCube. We are innovating again. We're making a smaller console because back then, the big vibe was having smaller technology. And then the GameCube came out. It was really, really cool. And people were like, wow, I really like this console. I like playing consoles and sitting on my fucking ass playing consoles. And Nintendo said, get your ass up because now we got a Wii. And Nintendo has been the biggest fucking innovator in gaming for years. Even the Switch is innovating. I even now, Nintendo is fucking innovating. If I were to put, like, if I were to say, you know, which company do I think is the best? Like, Sony, Xbox, uh, or, you know, like, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo. PlayStation 2 is the GOAT. Everybody knows it. Like, there's just no denying it. But... Nintendo is the best. Nintendo is 100% the best. Like, Sony, basically, Xbox is, um, uh, Xbox is like a, uh, uh, Xbox is kind of like, um, Xbox is, Xbox, it is what it is. Let's just say that. It, yeah, it's the Halo console. If Halo and Gears of War were not on the Xbox, I would have never bought one. I'll tell you that. Like, I bought an Xbox because of Halo. I bought the Xbox 360 because of Halo 3. And you know what? Those games were so fucking good that I don't feel like I wasted my goddamn money. Like, I'm telling you, man, if you were playing Halo 2 on Xbox Live in 2005, you were living the great, you were living your best life. It was amazing. Coming home from school, seeing your friends from school log on, their gamer tags light up, messaging you, getting in a group, doing Team Slayer. There's six people. Fuck it, bruh. Let's do big team battle. You do big team battle. You team kill the other two people that are on your team that aren't part of your school. And you call them gamer words. And then you get reported and nothing happens because Xbox didn't care. And you do it every day. For years, it was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. Those were the days. Even now, if I see somebody playing an online game and I see them talking, I will take the mic away from them 
and start screaming at whoever they're talking to for no reason. It's like a primal desire. You know what I mean? It's like whenever a bull sees sees a red uh, a red cloth, they have to charge at it. Like that's the way. I, if I see a fucking Xbox Live microphone, uh, I grab that bitch right up, man. I, yeah, it's hard coded into my brain. Such a bad boy. Yeah, we was we were some real we were some real troublemakers, dude. And so yeah, bulls are colorblind. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? It doesn't really matter what the fucking science is. It's not even real anyway. So listen. Well, oh, actually, I can't say that anymore because now I'll get banned. Um. Anyway, what I'm saying is Nintendo is fucking amazing. They are um, the the greatest innovators in gaming in the past 30 years, and they continue to be. I don't know why they have such an outdated policy on online content. They have such an outdated and antiquated and just disconnected a uh, policy on creating content online and how they interface with content creators it's so weird like I wish I could inter interview like maybe uh, I think it's like Doug Bowser he's like the current uh, guy for Nintendo I wish I could talk to him about like kind of like what their plans are for you know making these things a little bit more uh, modernized I would love to do that like if I could ever have him on all craft I would be so happy or I mean like Reggie doesn't speak for the company anymore So I can't really you know, he's not really he's not what's worked there anymore So it's hard really to say but like yeah invite him for our art craft. Yeah, exactly Pokemon Go was online Yeah, people blame it on Japan, but Sony never has that problem. I think it's just Nintendo is disconnected Like they just simply they don't have the same insight because let's be honest, Sony is much more of an international company, in my mind, than Nintendo is. Nintendo is just, in my opinion, like, Nintendo is much more disconnected than Sony is. And also, like, you've got to keep in mind that a lot of times... I read the, ch the chat, and it's like, whenever Mario fucking grabs Bowser, and he says, so long, gay Bowser... Like, how did that get through? Remember that? Like, how did that- I, Somebody said it in chat, and like, I don't know why, it just made me think about it. It was just- it's King Bowser, I just- It's just- it's- just, I, I, <laughs> I- I- I don't know, man. That's some Bernstein bear shit? Yeah, it is. And so, here's what I'm really trying to say. I wish Nintendo would like really just kind of modernize their shit with like uh, how they allow content creators to make content about their stuff. Like I can understand, especially nowadays with the Smash Brothers uh, situations that they've had, why Nintendo is a little bit worried about you know maybe giving too much attention to uh, to Smash Brothers or letting them do their own types of things. Their pricing, though, I think Nintendo's pricing is completely great. Like Nintendo consoles have always been cheaper. Like, the GameCube back in the day was 200 bucks, and the Xbox was 300 And I think the PS4, a PS2 was like 400 or something, back whenever it originally came out. All games are 60 bucks. I mean, that's all, that's the same with a lot of them, man. Yeah, that's the same with a lot of them. Not an 8-bit, if I remember, with the SNES. Uh, SNES, oh, bro, dude, didn't Genesis cost more? It was just so long ago, I don't really remember. Like, all I remember back then is my mom wouldn't buy me another one from my dad's house. So, like, that was about it. PS2 was 250 on launch? Really? Holy shit, dude, I remember, was it PS, was it PS3 that was, like, ridiculously fucking overpriced on launch? Maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe it was PS3, yeah, yeah, it was 600. It was 600! Can you imagine that? Oh my god!